In the crypt of St. Paul's Cathedral is a beautiful portrait of St. Martin dividing his cloak, painted by the artist Huey O'Donoghue in 2018. It captures the moment when Martin, a fourth century Imperial Roman officer and not yet a baptized Christian, cuts his cloak in half to share it with a poor man he sees outside the city walls. Now traditionally, and I'm thinking in particular of the famous 17th century painting by Flemish artist Antony van Dyck, Martin is portrayed in all his imperial glory, richly dressed on a large horse, making his act of generosity seem significantly less so. But what we know from the chronicle of Martin's life, however, is that he has been receiving instruction on the Christian faith, and as part of this instruction, has been giving away everything he owns. By the time he finds this man, outside the town of Amiens in northern France, he has nothing left but this cloak, which he cuts with his military sword in half and shares. That night, Martin has a dream in which Christ appears to him wearing half the cloak and announces, Martin has clothed me in his robe. This act is what Jesus had described to his followers in Matthew 25, when he thanks them for giving him something to wear when he was naked. Astounded by this statement, his followers ask, but Lord, when did we find you naked? Jesus responds that kindness to the least in society is kindness to him. Hughie O'Donoghue has chosen to paint both Martin and the poor man as contemporary figures because, unfortunately, there are still plenty of underdressed people sleeping out of doors in need of warm clothing. The old man is an all too familiar figure on our city streets today, and Martin is just responding as Jesus asked him to. It was said that Martin raised the banners of pity in a harsh time. I am sure life in fourth century France was harsh, I would argue that life remains harsh for far too many people still 1,600 years later. And harsh not only for reasons of lack, but violence as well. When Mr. O'Donoghue spoke about his painting at the unveiling, he made special reference to the sword, which he refers to as a blade. In this painting, Martin is using this blade, this weapon, to share his belongings with another. Yet O'Donoghue is keenly aware, as we all are, that most blades are not used in this fashion. Instead, they are used to harm, to kill, not least on these streets in London. Having enjoyed a lull during COVID lockdown, violent crime, including knife and gun crime, has rocketed since restrictions began being eased two months ago. This comes on top of the COVID pandemic, international protests over governments and institutions of authority, more desperate people in little boats at sea. It can make us feel overwhelmed, hopeless, helpless. And then we look at this beautiful painting, which captures one moment of one gesture of kindness. And remember all the kindness that does still exist in this world the kindnesses we have received in our own lives, the kindnesses we have shown to others. That is the message of this painting, to always be open to the opportunity of kindness wherever we may find it, to be banners of pity in this harsh, harsh world.